sky cam shot here from 27th to Douglas, these tiny little clouds that are popping up. The smoke that was higher in the sky prevented any clouds from forming the last couple of days. High pressure also helping with that. But the smoke layer is a little thinner over us right now. That's allowing just a couple of clouds to pop up. 75 at the airport, gusty south to southwest winds and the dew points in the low 60s. Feels a little bit muggy out there. And yeah, weed pollen back in the high count. Ragweed, pigweed on the high side and got a low count for grass pollen. So allergy sufferers, my apologies, it's going to be a little tougher this afternoon. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s. We keep climbing up a little bit more. On the visible satellite picture, you can see a little bit of a gap from the thicker white down to our south and to our north. I'll outline it here so you can kind of see it a little better. It's a little clearer over parts of central eastern Nebraska through central Iowa and then toward Wisconsin, Illinois and northern Missouri. But a lot of this gray that you see, especially off to our north and to the south, that is wildfire smoke aloft three to five miles above the ground that's being pulled across the country by a very strong jet stream. So that means if the jet stream's off to our north, the storm tracks off to our north. Really not much in the way of meaningful weather happening for us for a couple of days. A cold front drops down tomorrow and notice behind that we'll see a few more clouds and then the front stalls out because of Hurricane Sally moving into the southeast and kind of blocking the jet stream pattern. So that means we're going to be on the cooler side of this front as we go into Thursday and again Friday. But a little wave is going to ripple along the front and Thursday night into Friday morning we might see a little bit of rain around here. So there's Sally right now continuing to get pans of thunderstorms just south of Mobile Bay. 85 mile an hour sustained winds category one storm crawling barely to the northwest at two miles an hour and that is the biggest threat with this. There will be an issue with some storm surge right along the Alabama and uh, northwest Florida Panhandle coast. But as this pushes north and east over the next couple of days, there's going to be a huge swath of rain, and that's the biggest issue with this storm. This orange area that goes across most of Alabama toward Atlanta and South Carolina, that's five to seven inches of rain, but that yellow area is between 10 and 20 inches of rain across southern Alabama and the Florida coast. So don't roll your eyes and say, oh, it's only a category one storm. There are going to be huge impacts from flooding in the southeast because of Sally. We're just going to get the hazy skies over the next couple of days. Less haze today, a little more tomorrow. Down to the mid 70s behind that front Thursday and Friday with that small chance for rain Thursday night. We'll dry out. We'll get windier into the weekend with temperatures in the low 80s and then maybe another chance for a thunder shower coming up on Monday.